Hey y'all, it's Sarah, and I'm back doing more birthday decor and foam core. So if you didn't catch the last one, I did a cake stand kind of thing and a topiary. Now I'm back with another one trying to use foam core scraps from previous projects, previous cuts, previous practices, and a couple other things. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about when I say foam core... I'm using Ready Board brand foam core. This comes in your office supply, school supply areas of a lot of your retailers like Walmart, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. It comes in 20 by 30 sheets and um, I'm going to be using pieces that I've already done off of previous projects. I want to jump in on this. I'm pretty excited to kind of continue what I'm doing. So... As you can see, these are the few things that I'm using. I'm still working out of the same package of these Hobby Lobby um, donut cutout, these birthday kind of cutouts. This is a 14 count package. These things range all the way up to 15 and a half inches. I've already used a couple. Um, I've got this little guy out to show you so that when you see this foam core right here, this was a practice piece from using this tool. There is a video on this channel about this tool. It's a cool tools video and tells what it does. You can see it makes these notches. I had done this as a practice piece and ended up cutting so far deep into it that I knocked the edge off. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to get it out of my space before I end up ruining it any further. So I'm going to be turning this into a project. I've got just a um, scrap piece of foam core just like this that I'm going to be trying to turn into a project. I've got some of my faux painted wood strips. These are about um, an inch wide. These are left over from other things. If you want to know more about how to get the wood looks, those are their own tutorials on this channel. Lots of different colors. You can really customize that idea. But I'm just using pieces off of other things. The whole point of this is that I was doing this already for birthday decorations. And I just wanted to get you thinking about how far you can take it and really find every use you possibly can to use up your scraps and practice pieces and all of that. So I'm ready to go ahead and get started. I'm going to move that to the side because I won't be using it. I already have this piece that um, this particular piece is 14 inches by 30 inches. So it's pretty long. That's why I can't get the whole thing in the frame. So I'm going to be working um, kind of sideways on this. I'm taking Super Cheater's Way Out on this. going to be very easy. You guys are just going to be um, shocked at how easy you can turn. Just store-bought. Dollar Tree has their own versions of um, decor like this. I'm going to be pulling out. They had three of each design in three different colors. You can see the three color scheme. I'm going to be pulling these things out. They are roughly nine inches. So I'm just going to lay them out, kind of space them. I'm going to come in. I've got these one inch strips by 14 and they just happened to be that length when I was pulling out of my scrap. So I thought that worked out really, really remarkably lucky. So you can see this is going to be so super easy, especially since I, I don't have to cut anything. I don't have to paint anything. I really am using things that are left over from other pieces. I'm just going to come in here, pop this down to this end, running my fingers flush. I'm just using regular old Dollar Tree hot glue. I'm going to spin this around so I can easily reach to this other side, do the same thing with my hot glue. I'm going to load it up on this piece. And you can really see on this edge where I cut straight through playing with that V-Groove tool. If you get the settings too high on that thing, instead of getting a nice little even notch, it'll go right through it. But it leaves a an interesting bevel effect. So now all I've got to do is just kind of figure out where my donuts are going to go. I'm going to align this middle one first and then uh, glue these other second 
You could do a couple things here if you have some other scrap pieces of foam core. You could always kind of pop them on there and make it a little dimensional. I'm just going to go straight to the surface with mine. The really cool thing about doing this one is not only did the sheet fit all three of these just so snug, um, my lines right here really are going to help me get these centered. I'm going to do the same thing using hot glue. This whole, um, this whole creation, I'm just going to go with hot glue. Same thing here. All of, I told you these were so super simple, but it was more about getting you to think about using these pieces up in other ways that still are super fun. It really dresses up just this pre-packaged um, flat birthday pieces. You could do this with pretty much any kind of decor celebration that comes with these cardboard type pieces like this. Okay, simple enough. That whole piece is done. This is a 30 inch piece, guys. Just from those couple of little donuts, I can come in, add some twine here so that it hangs. I think it's super cute. This is going to be a really, really large piece. Um, and I've got another one that's going to be real similar to help balance it out. I'm going to pop this out of the way. And... One other thing that I want to show you, I want to show you just this cheat. Now, I don't necessarily recommend it all the time, and I don't necessarily recommend it on your nicer faux wooden piece, but we know this was a birthday decoration. It's going to be pretty temporary. So, Dollar Tree has these furniture markers here, and they will tend to bleed if you get it on certain edges, which is why I don't recommend it on your wood. But I'm going to come in, I'm going to take... The dark one here and here where my white edge is instead of coming in with my paint like I usually do I can just marker that in this one doesn't have to be quite the same quality that I usually push for um, with my other pieces simply because it's birthday decor as long as it looks cute for that day it'll be fine to me I wanted to show you guys that sheet um, it's something that I do with more temporary pieces and there you go Now on to this next one. So this particular Piece of foam core that I have right here in case you're interested in the measurements is 15 inches by 20 inches um, It also was kind of left over from something you can see the ends are really beat up but it's just more of the ready board brand this one does not have the grooves in it it was just a plain sheet cut from the end of something i've got two more of my faux wood painted one inch strips that are 15 inches wide once again i got really lucky that's why these are an entirely different color i got really lucky and found those in my stash bin you can look where this is simple I've got that marker again. Instead of really dealing with this, I'm less likely to get fingerprints. I'm just going to make sure both of those ends look nice or aren't stark white. I'm coming in this time with the three versions of the Yum! And I'm just going to lay them on here and see which way I happen to like them color-wise. I think I'm probably going to go something like this. These particular Yum! pieces are um, around nine and a half inches wide. Same thing with these. If you want to, grab some scraps, pop it underneath there, lift it up off that surface. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to do mine flat. Coming in with my hot glue. Going all around this. I'm not measuring it. I'm just going to eyeball it. I do want to make sure that I leave enough room somewhere in here for my 
um, framing pieces. I'm going to glue each one of these down. Try not to burn yourself. You actually, this is so thin, you actually feel the warmth through it, unlike your foam core. You can feel the heat from the hot glue straight through this one. So, all of those are in place. It gets even simpler. I'm going to take these two pieces, pop some more hot glue right to the back of that. Hit it flush up against here. Same thing on the bottom. It's almost reminds me of kind of like a sandwich board sign. Once again, twine, ribbon, anything you kind of want to dress that up. This is a full 20 inch piece. That's a pretty good size, especially for a piece of decor. I think those look super cute. I'm going to bring these back and kind of show you what we have here and how simple that was just using pieces that I had cut off of other things. None of this, I didn't stop to make any cuts. I just looked through all my old projects, all my old test pieces, all of that, and was able to knock these pieces out. I really love that. My son is going to love it. He um, very much is into the cutesy. Uh, so this will be just right up his alley. I can't wait to get the rest of this set completely done. My goal is to create art pieces out of every little bit of this. So check in on the next one. See what else I've got going on. And I hope you at least like the share of ideas. It's more about the, the concept of using what you have, turning it into something just extra it's just being extra and i'm clearing out some of my scrap mess while i'm being extra so that's it guys i hope some of you get a chance to do a little crafting if you have march birthdays happy birthday to you guys and i will talk to you guys soon bye y'all